Okay guys, today we're talking about the Cold Steel SRK versus the Topps Tom Brown Tracker. Now, before we get into this video, as always, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. That's how this channel keeps on going. And if you would, ring that notification bell so that you get notified every time some Alaskan awesome video comes up. So, without that, with that out of the way, let's jump right into the Cold Steel SRK versus the Topps Tom Brown Tracker. Now, this video is undoubtedly going to ruffle some feathers because there are a lot of people, especially people who love the Topps Tom Brown Tracker, they swear by it. And in this video, this is no, by no means necessarily saying that this is a bad knife, but just looking at it versus what I would say more of a typical and common survival knife, something that is very well proven, has an excellent track record, the Cold Steel SRK. So let's start it with... So let's start with the first part of this, batoning. Now, no doubt the uh, Tom Brown Tracker is undoubtedly the better batoning knife. It's just simply a thicker, heavier, larger piece of steel, and anytime you have something large, heavy, and thick that you're trying to push through a piece of wood, it's going to likely do a better job when it comes to splitting that piece of wood. So the Tom Brown Tracker or Topps Tracker definitely definitely did a better job in that regard. Now moving over to feather sticking. This is where things are definitely going to get a little bit uh, debatable uh, and admittedly the wood I'm using here is a little bit rotten. It's not the greatest wood. You know I'm using what I have around me and you know I'm not cutting down green trees just to film these test videos. Uh, so I am using you know wood that's a little bit aged but that is no excuse. Um, you know, the tops tub or the tops tracker, you know, its feather stick looked like this, which you're probably a little bit far away, but it's a little bit rough, it's a little bit jagged. There are certainly curls here, and this would certainly do just a fine job in getting fires going, but you know, the SRK definitely curled better. I'd say ultimately though, the biggest thing for me when it came down to feather sticking. And especially when it comes to feather sticking, if you are going to feather stick, you know, it's about doing it for a long time. You're not just going to feather stick one piece of wood. And what I found with the tracker is that, especially due to this uh, kind of hump right here, it was very uncomfortable to feather stick with this knife. Uh, the hump right here and this kind of uh, hump in the back right up here on the spine really dug into my hand. And so even though it was only about a minute, a uh, minute and a half of feather sticking, my hand was already feeling the uh, pain, so to speak, of the tracker. And so when going over to the SRK, obviously it is very devoid of those things. And not only is it devoid of random bumps, it is also rubberized, so it is very comfortable. And I feel like I can feather stick with this for 30 minutes. And honestly, my muscles are probably gonna fatigue before my hand starts to feel uncomfortable with the SRK. Whereas definitely my hand is going to feel uncomfortable far before my muscles fatigue with the tracker. So I think it really comes down to ergonomics more than performance because they have pretty similar, they have pretty similar performance, but there's a difference in um, ergonomics and comfortability. The next part is notching and notching is another one where at least in this wood, they actually did a pretty equal job. And sometimes the tracker doesn't always do a great job when it comes to notching because it is a larger, heavier, thicker piece of steel. So when you're going with the grain, so when you're going with the grain with wood, larger, heavier, and thicker usually tends to benefit you in trying to split it apart. But when you're trying to go cross grain, you're trying to do things like notches, usually it's the opposite. And that's definitely noticeable with the, these two. I mean, the SRK is definitely easier to notch with. But once again, the primary thing that I noticed with the tracker is the ergonomics and really this huge or very wide blade just made it a very difficult challenge to 
be able to get close enough to my edge to accurately and reliably make cuts to make and form notches. And so the width of this blade was really killing me when it came to notching. And of course, the ergonomics, if the ergonomics are poor and feather sticking, they're not going to be any better in notching. I definitely noticed that with that knife versus the SRK. And of course, the SRK definitely took the edge in feather sticking and in notching, in my opinion. Uh, so when it comes down to it, the, so the last part was fire steel striking or ferro rod striking and this one is kind of debatable you saw that both knives were able to strike the ferro rod however that was after i modified the tops tracker because i had to take the kind of truck bed liner coating off of the spine of the tracker and once i did that it strikes uh, ferro rods just fine certainly okay enough to start a fire it's not showering sparks like some of my knives do and how i prefer most of my knives to do but it does throw sparks just fine and it is serviceable after i modified it so you have to look at it from that perspective that's not an out of box feature if you got your tracker and you tried striking it it would not strike a ferro rod off the spine until you remove the coating now the srk on the other hand even with its coating it still is sharp enough or the spine is sharp enough to throw decent sparks once again once again it's not showering sparks like i would prefer it to but it is doing certainly a good enough job that any well-prepared tender will catch uh, the sparks from either of these knives so take that for what it is like i said i did have to modify the tracker and some people say that you don't have to modify it if you use these saw teeth but uh, that is certainly a point, but these saw teeth are very hard to realistically and reliably use when striking ferro rods. And in my opinion, especially speaking about survival knives, if I can't reliably do something or you know, do something and the same thing happens every time, I'm not going to count that as a good feature to a knife. Um, it's kind of like the Shango notch on the tops, uh, field craft or BOB field craft, you know. The uh, Shango notch can work, but it doesn't work reliably, and that's why I don't really count it on that knife. So that's what I have to say about the tracker and the SRK. As always, guys, God bless, and I'm out.